Make sure you stay awake there, Karen. Good morning, Arthur. Working hard there? I guess. Well, I won't disturb you. Okay, then. So, what do you think of this place? Seems fine for now. I know this area a little. Is there anywhere you ain't been, Jose? Morning, dear. Good morning, Arthur. Watch the wind doesn't change. Oh, shut up, Arthur. Wouldn't want that face to freeze. All right then, Arthur. Hi, Dutch. Good morning, Arthur. Looks like a good book there. Very enjoyable. Well, I'll leave you to it. All right, Arthur. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already. I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice should we have, Mr. Nah, Morgan? I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. <laughs> Good morning, Arthur. Hey. Ladies. Good morning, Arthur. I know you like a good cup of coffee. Nothing better. Hey. I fell and broke my poor knob, sir. There's a spot here for you, Arthur. Ooh, don't arrest me, Arthur. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. Along with a lot of whiskey. Well, I should get back to it. Sure. Yeah. 
Keep moving. Let's go. If anyone comes after us, they'll be met with a sword. <laughs> What you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. <clears throat> awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. That's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> My old house. House my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's stead. It's a North of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. I'd, I'd sure appreciate that help, mister. Hey! This here's the feller! 
The one that found me. The medicine man, huh? Helps with the mystery box? I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can do. Yeah, well, you're humble, all right. It's about time. I spent the store. What can I do for yeah. you? Yeah. Uh, guy with the snake bite says I can put something here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his oath, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. I'll let him know. You're paying next time, though. Pick something up on your tab. Thanks again. Good luck to you. Thank you. Get your newspapers here, folks. What you looking for? A paper? Thanks. Thanks. Have a great day. Newspapers! Excuse me, partner. Hello. How's things? Too sober to smile. Well, all the best then. So long. Well, Morning. Now, haven't you brought enough misery upon us? You don't have to worry about me. Oh. Just relax now. 
Mister? Fine morning. Morning. Morning, mister. This seems like a decent town. Yeah? Quite right. Howdy. Morning, friend. Gonna get the hang of this. Dad don't care if it's pretty, right? <laughs> you want to fit it? Gwen Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Damn it! There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie? Your auntie's long past <sighs> prudish. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Overgrown and all. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. 
It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh... Exhumation. Hello there, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. There's them that's born to it, there's everyone else. Uh-huh, that's how it is. Gentlemen, church grounds are closed. I don't care very much what they are. We're looking for some privacy. <laughs> you get this guy? Good at two shoes. Hey, look, we're closed for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you back. Uh, don't! Uh, shit! Go on! Got uh, some nerve on you. Uh, uh. Your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Uh, Quick, take it before somebody sees us. She'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you.
Mister. Hello there. Decent town you got here. That a fact. Well, I'll leave you to it. Bye bye. Not a bad town you got here. You okay there, mister? You need me to move? Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. <sighs> Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. Are you looking for that fella's wagon? I heard him say they was taking it to Macomb's Inn. Okay, thanks.
got the wagon, huh? Get you back to the dock.
know this shatter, don't you? Look who it is. I did not count on seeing that wagon again. Nor you, for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks that took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Now, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Yeah, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah. What we got here? Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture, he'll be well for a day. Teach him to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic, but you may not need it to. Well, if you see me on my travels and you're in need of something, make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. I've lost my friend. Somebody help me, please. Good evening. Uh, listen, have you seen... I I'm looking for my friend, Gavin. I don't know any Gavins, I'm afraid. English bloke. Lovely fella. He went missing, and uh, now I'm all alone. Good luck. That's, uh... That's too bad. Gavin! Time to go, boy. Me? I'm working for the Grays now. All right, come on.
You brought your damn self to ruin! Adam. Howdy, handsome. Oh, do you have the time there? Oh, I don't know. Okay, thanks anyway. Bye-bye now. Hey, good looking. Folks, hello there. Hey, cowboy. Seems a rough crowd. Oh. Just be careful. So long now. Oh, a new player. I want that play.
place your bets now. All right, bet's closed. Shall we? Damn. Fifteen. Hit me. Okay, bust there. Hmm, thirteen. No will double. Well, this is getting twenty-one. Fun now. 15 here, and <laughs> bust. Good. Bets, please. Bets are closed. Let's begin. <clears throat> Uh-oh, that's worrying. Four. Cod. Twelve. I'll take another. That's a what break. What the hell? Fifteen. I'm gonna double down. Break. Ah, crap. There's always another round. Excuse me? Shut up. Okay, I'll have your bets, folks. Closing bits. Good luck. That's 16. Hit me. 12 there. Let's do it again. And Damn. bust. Okay, 11. Hit me. Fourteen. Give me a card. That's a break. Shit. Chin up. Do us both a favor. Shut up. Bets, please. I'm game. Bets closed, folks. Let's go. Eighteen. Thirteen. Card, please. Okay, Dang bust the there. Eighteen. Twenty, <laughs> right here. Now this is beating the odds. Okay, I'll have your bets, folks. All right, bet's closed. Shall we? Hmm, 13. Cod. 20. Mm-hmm, 14. Double down. And 21. If you blow that, you're Seven. an amateur. Yep. 17. Twelve. Break. That's why we do it. Okay. My luck is officially just turned. Okay. Okay. You're fine. Just a little more. Bets, please. Let's go. Thank you. Okay. So long now. There's something for you. Uh, you, mister, excuse me. Uh, howdy. You know when you have one of those days? That yeah, right. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Ah. Hello, ma'am. Hello, good looking. You seem full of joys of spring, miss. Well, thanks. You be well now. See you soon. Hi. Oh, thanks. Just fine. You have an 
Okay, there. Morning. Hello. Oh my, I'd love to get a better look at you. If you don't mind me saying, um, you look lovely today. Oh? That's the bad well, didn't mean to intrude. Really? So long. Well then. Nothing for me. Now, how can I ease your troubles? You'll like this. <laughs> you sure wolfed that down. That's the bastard who brought hellfire down upon us. You look you good don't... enough to eat. Me. I'm on official business for the family. All right, come on. Hey, mister. Morning. You got my money? Sure. Did she give anything? For me? Yes. Might I have it? Sure. But it'll cost you. Ah, <laughs> uh, I can't be bothered. Here, take it. Oh, thank you, Arthur. You'll... Thank you. My God. What a woman. She's... This'll get her killed, for sure. What? Women's suffrage. Around here, they don't even like men voting. They'd bring back the monarchy, given half the chance. Progress is a dirty word in these parts. Unlike incest. Excuse me? I don't want to marry my cousin Matilda. I want to marry Penelope. But they're gonna... They'll kill her at one of those rallies they're holding. They've done it before. Mister, you gotta help. No, I'm afraid I don't want no part of it. I'll pay. My family, we've still got some money. Fine. Just no more running around with letters. Thank you. Come on. We better get going. get there in time, my true love may be shot. If she wants to rally, you gotta let her rally. Well, good as the cause is, I can't let her become a martyr to it. 
that. I want to marry a flesh and blood woman, not a statue in her honor. I'm sure they know what they're doing. Damn, there they are. Bo, what are you doing here? I cannot let you go through with this. You'll be killed. I'm prepared to die for the cause, Bo. You know that. Do something, please. Do what? Fight this mob? We must begin. They need me alive. This is no laughing matter, sir. They need protecting from certain elements. Mostly my family. Penelope, I beg you. I'll tell you what. Your friend here can drive the wagon for us. It'll allow us to shout all the louder. Hooray! Sure. Miss Calhoun! Miss Calhoun! My friend here says he can drive the wagon. Well, Olive Calhoun. Normally I like to drive myself, but today I feel like a man joining us sends the right message. Well, I ain't never been in a protest march before, madam. Well, just treat us like the sheep and the folks attacking us like the wolves, and I'm sure you feel right at home. Shall we go? <clears throat> All right, ladies. We know our song is a good one, mm -hmm. and we know our cause is a pure one. Yes, ma'am. Let liberty reign. <laughs> We're mothers, wives, housekeepers, and daughters. We cook the food and we fetch the water. Now, Sing now. Songs of freedom take and us glory. down Main Street, right through town Every to the steps of the back of road, Mr. Me. What was your name? Arthur Morgan. Very good, Mr. Morgan. Not too quick and not too slow. We need them to hear our voice. Well, they'll hear it all right. We sing for suffrage for women to be free. A ballot for the lady, a vote for you and me. This is our cry of freedom, our power is our Very good, very good. Mr. Morgan, are you an old friend of the movement? I'm just a driver, Mrs. Calhoun, and maybe a shotgun messenger if it comes to it. I hope it won't. Well, our message will be delivered peaceably, Mr. Morgan. You can keep your shotgun to yourself. Stay on Main Street. Uh, it's a left up here, Mr. Morgan. Look at these people. It's about to get exciting. I can feel it. I believe you might be right. Good day, Sheriff. I trust you'll make sure it's a peaceful assembly. This is our cry of freedom. Our power is not small. For women's equal liberty, this is the call. You'll damn us all with this sin. You'll damn us all. Oh, do give it a rest, you sorry fool. Mr. Morgan, I give you the male of the species. Well, it's a pretty dumb specimen, I grant it. Almost there. Take us just a little further, please. Those are the steps, Mr. Morgan. Stop in front there, and then all you need to do is listen. This spot is fine, sir. Ladies! Get down! Come on! Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. this is a great day for all of us. Yeah. Oh. For today is the day we begin to live as equals. Equals? Oh. Ah. Yes, equal, sir. Fair and equal. This is unnatural. This is nonsense. Yeah. Equal and free, just as the Founding Fathers intended. Oh, yeah. Founding Fathers, oh. not Founding Mothers, you hey, silly you old goat. Hey, oh. 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 philosophy hey. dependent on biology. What the hell are you doing here, boy? Keep your voice down. I'm trying to listen to the speech. Hello, darling cousin. Don't you ever speak to me like that. What are you doing here? Listening. I suppose. Go help Bo. His cousin is a moron. And stop them from ruining the speech. Yes, we will. You need to learn yourself some manners, cousin. Have a 
Haven't you got anything better to do? Oh, you always was Bo, a cocky little... Well, we just leave him. Well, who the hell is this? Follow me, Ronnie. Oh, uh, what? You'll hit me? Oh. Come on. Sir, can you not see how idiotic you are? Come on, Bo. Let's go. Quick now. We are all Americans. All of us. And what is... We gotta go before they think twice. Oh, Lord. Follow me. I know a place. It's an old battlefield no one goes to. You don't want to go back, hear the speeches? I ain't voted before, but kind of getting hot for voting rights. I don't know whether to take you seriously, Mr. Morgan. My cousins are my primary concern right now. If everyone knows about Penelope and me... Everyone knows about Penelope and you? I know about Penelope and you, and I've been here all of ten minutes. The sooner it's out, the sooner it's resolved. The sooner it's dealt with, you mean. We're dealt with. Our families, the Greys and the Braithwaites, we bury our secrets, and we bury them deep. Your secrets and your treasure. You know, Catherine Braithwaite's got a daughter. No one's seen her in years. She weren't right, you know, and... Penelope said, uh, I, I ain't heard about daughters. I heard about gold. But Yankee gold? I fear that's just a story, Mr. Morgan. But I don't know. This is awful. Nobody died. Ain't that awful. My cousins are vindictive bastards. My brothers are vindictive bastards. My cousins are worse. They started it. I know, but... You should leave. I will, as soon as I have enough money. When my family... We have money, but I don't. Is your family very rich? Yes, well, I believe so. But, uh, they keep me out of the discussions. I have more of a... Artistic temperament, so... Oh, is that what they call it? Yes. Oh, you made a joke. Mm. I really love her. I do. Well, stick around. Maybe you can die for her as well. I thought you were trying to make me feel better. <laughs> Look, I gotta go. Me too. Oh, damn! I'm gonna be late. My uncle is quite as bad as you would imagine. Uh, here. Your payment. Thank you. I excuse me.
Good morning. Get out of here, you damn parasite! <laughs> ah. Hello there. You gonna get out there and make some money? At least I ain't some little boy playing lawman. <clears throat> hey, cut that out! I despise that dog. What is wrong with you? Yeah, I'll stay there, boy. Hey, come on, boy. Relax. Easy, boy. Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Good work, Arthur. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay.
You know. Hmm. You know something, Arthur? What? You was always special to me. Not too bad. All these years. All these things we done. Good things. Bad things. All these people we seen passed on. You was always special. We live in or die in this town, Dutch. I guess we'll find out soon enough. Oh, hi, Micah. Hey. 